pray aloud with me. Our God and our friend, take our burdens and lead us to a place of renewal where your spirit provides living water and bread for the journey. Guide us in the way of your truth and love. Forgive our mixed motives and conflicted agendas. Forgive our pride, which seals us in cold, dark places. Forgive our fear of letting go and trusting you. Help us to begin anew from this moment so we can be free to love as a faithful follower of Jesus. Because somewhere, deep down, we know that following someone who leads us in love is exactly what each of us longs to do. Bless us in our worship with your renewing grace, our God and our friend. Amen. of Jesus in Matthew 11, verses 28 through 30 from the Good News Translation. Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are tired from carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke and put it on you and learn from me, because I am gentle and humble in spirit, and you will find rest. For the yoke I will give you is easy. And the load I will put on you is light. I'm tired. What are you tired of? I'm uh, tired of the uh, mask debate. I don't know why it has become a First Amendment right to not wear a mask, or somehow your rights are taken away if you are asked to wear a mask. 
Somebody pointed out to me last week, no one thinks it's a First Amendment violation if the sign says no shirt, no shoes, no service. So why can't we say no shirt, no shoes, no mask, no service? Why is that any different? Plus, you know what? I can't see when my friends are laughing at me, and that that bothers me because I think they are. And it kind of gets on my nerves. What are you tired of? I am tired of social distancing. It's it's anxiety producing for me, for one thing, because I forget. Okay, so I went to the grocery store, and when I put my mask on, if I look down, my glasses fall off. And I don't know why that is, but it happens. And then I have to get on my hands and knees and find them under the, the last shelf of spaghetti. So I don't look down when I'm wearing my mask. So I didn't even know there were arrows that said, don't go, don't go up this way. Don't go up that way. Go up this one. I didn't even know they were there. So I was, wa- I'm sure I made everybody mad. I was wandering up the down aisle and down the up aisle and somebody pointed out to me that there are like one-way streets in the grocery store. I didn't even know it. I w- the social distancing is very anxiety-producing for me. Plus, you can't go swimming. What about the parks, churches, and now schools? It's just overwhelming, social distancing is. What are you tired of? I am tired of the ridiculous things that politicians are saying. And I'm tired of waiting for some of them to say something that isn't ridiculous. <sighs> what are you tired of? I'm tired of worrying about our financial future. Not just mine, our country, our church, our community. Th- this financial thing isn't going to just be over, I don't think. And it'll affect us all. I'm, I'm tired of worrying about that. What are you tired of? I'm tired of the heat. I don't like the heat. And you know what else I'm tired of? I am tired of our dog barking every morning at 5 a.m. Now, I might be able to tolerate that a little bit better if I weren't tired of everything else, but I'm tired of that dog barking at 5 a.m. Bless Jim. He gets up and he lets the dog out and I don't have to get up until 6. But I am tired of that little dog barking at 5 a.m. What are you tired of? Listen to these words of Jesus. From Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30, paraphrased. Come to me, Jesus says. Come on over here and let me have a look at you. Oh, I see you're tired. Well, put down that big bag of tired you've got there and spend a minute here with me. Let's just take off our shoes and hang our feet off this dock here in the cool water of this river. Scoot on over here so we can both sit at the end of the dock. There's no need to social distance with me. We'll just dangle our feet off right here for a little bit. That water's going to take your breath away for a minute till you get used to the cold. Feel that warm sun. Feel that cool breeze. We'll have to squint our eyes against the reflection of that sun dancing on the river water. If we're quiet for a bit, you'll hear the birds. That's a kingfisher. That's a blue jay. I know some things about you because I've been keeping my eye on you. I know how tired you are. Seems like when you can't control what's going on, your anxiety takes a whole bunch of different shapes. Sometimes you just get stuck and you can't even take a step. And then sometimes you do too much. You run around in circles and don't seem to accomplish too much of anything. Well, anything that matters. And then you end up feeling like you don't matter. And that's just not true. Plus, right now, your heart is so heavy with grief. And Lord knows that'll make you tired. Grief is something heavy to carry around. And there's something else you might learn here that you can carry grief just a little bit at a time. Bring that little bit right over here to me and you can pick up the rest of it later, but don't try to carry it all at once. Matter of fact, after we've sat here a while, let's go through that big bag of tired you left back there because I'm certain there's some stuff in there we can get rid of. 
I'll help you sort through it all. And we'll just leave some of it right here beside the river. If you want, you can sort of hang with me. And if you will, if you walk with me, I'll help you carry that bag you've got. It'll lighten the weight of it if you and I are pulling along together. Plus, I've got some things in mind we can do to make all this just a bit easier for you. We can help some other folks who are carrying big bags of tired just like yours. We can always come right back here to the river anytime you want. It's good to just hang your feet off the end of the dock. Jesus can give us all rest if we just come when he calls. Amen. So bring before you whatever the elements are that you'll be using for communion today, whether it's bread or crackers or toast or triscuits and your juice or your wine or your water. And remember, it's not the stuff that is extraordinary because these things are just common things around the house. It's God's blessing and God's presence that makes them be for us extraordinary gifts of grace. Let us pray. Holy God, we thank you for inviting us to your table. We're not here because we earned it or because we deserve it, but only because you called us, because you love us. Help us to remember that it's through your grace that we are made whole. We pray that you will bless these elements before us and make them be for us the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. So lift your bread, as together we remember, on the night in which he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took bread, he gave thanks, and he broke the bread and said, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and again he gave thanks, mm. and he gave it to them and said, drink this, all of you, for this is the blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. And as often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we remember Jesus until he comes again. Lift your bread. This is the body of Christ broken for you. And the cup, this is the blood of Christ in the cup of salvation. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Thank you for feeding us and quenching our thirst. Thank you for loving us and calling us your own. Help us now be for others the presence of Jesus Christ, presenting the grace of God in his name. Amen.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Receive the benediction. Live in the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor everyone. Love and serve God and your neighbor in all that you do. Amen. Go in peace. <laughs>